So we published our e-commerce outlook around a few weeks ago. And within that, a few themes that played out this year we think will continue into 2024, including the value for money shift, where companies uh, are Consumers are trading down and our companies are focused in pushing for more cheaper products with this uh, trading downtrend. Uh, there's also an ad tech upgrade that has driven a significant beat in advertising, particularly for e-commerce advertising this year. And uh, if we look at the, the performance of China tech stocks, what, what this kind of table, what I missed is quite of these alpha generation in a few stocks that have gone global um, or companies that are less focused on the cons consumption trends, for example, gaming companies companies, uh, pure gaming companies. And so there's a wide spectrum of performance in, in our space this year with the best performing stocks up 50 percent or more year to date, uh, while our overall big caps have uh, have delivered strong earnings. But we've seen some of the multiple contraction that led to a kind of more muted uh, full year performance uh, this year. For 2024 in our e-commerce outlook, we're looking for this value for money trend to continue. Ad tech upgrades where most of our companies are upgrading their tech in how to target for better for merchants to drive better sales and becoming a more sales driven advertising model instead of what we call previously a click based model for advertising. We think this will drive further upside to e-commerce advertising, while in the meantime, more, more games launches will help companies like NetEase and, and Tencent uh, into 2024. Just, just to simplify for everyone watching, it, it's, it's basically put the ones that are diversified, the ones that aren't intrinsically you know, connected to that end consumer in terms of consumer goods, they're the ones that have done better because Tencent, obviously, they, they've got that huge gaming business at the same time and you've got Alibaba that does its cloud and everything else, so it, it's a different dynamic. But the, the, the point still remains because you know, everything that you're saying is super accurate. Fundamentally speaking, these companies, they're, they're, they're practically cash machines. If you're looking at it from an FCF basis and you're, you're doing your, your regular kind of math that you would apply any kind of forward multiple that is acceptable in terms of what you can rationally expect, these are, are too cheap by, you know, comparing to global peers and anywhere else for that matter. So, and that, that's, that's a part of that first question because I, I want to get into some of the other things that you're going to be looking for, but we, we, we can't... We can't get to what we're looking for without looking back to what, what has happened. So what, what's the problem here? Why aren't people valuing these companies the way that they should be? So our, our subject of preference is e-commerce ads and games into 2024. Within that, looking back into the, the past uh, 12 months, of course, there has been a number of growing competition within e-commerce has led to concerns on GMB growth, while overall consumption has, has lagged initial expectations, particularly in the spending on goods. Spending in services, had, uh, on the other hand, has been stronger in terms of travel, in terms of spending in education, spending on different services, those have been stronger. So overall, I would say uh, the market has been overly pessimistic on some of the uh, assumptions, for example, in, in Alibaba that we just wrote a, a, an update on what are the investor key question since its result, particularly after the uh, quite, a, quite a significant move, uh, down move on the results uh, alongside this uh, cancellation of the card distribution. So it, we kind of say at this stage on free cash flow generation of, of the Alibaba business, this is around five years of free cash flow plus is net cash on hand is today's market cap. And so I think a lot of the uh, pessimism or market concerns are more increasingly in the price. And after a year of more muted performance, while most of our companies, Alibaba's and the 10 cents of the likes, have delivered strong earnings growth, we think uh, the multiples are now strongly more favorable um, on the lower bound of what, what these stocks should have been. And uh, we see favorable risk reward across uh, our space, particularly looking into more medium term um, earnings multiples. 